Good afternoon, dear viewers. I'm happy to welcome you on Savomo's channel. As always, this is Alexander Sudrov, and we are near the Design Technological Bureau. And let's actually outline what today's video is about. In today's video, we'll talk about the fact that visits of supervisory authorities to Sovolmash have started. And today we will talk about how it ended and what consequences await us in the future. Right now, we are next to the Transformer Group. Transformer 1, Transformer 2, fire doors with grids and signs have been installed and everything inside has been prepared. And as of today, one of the inspection organizations has conducted a thorough inspection. And a number of, let's say, shortcomings were revealed. We eliminated those shortcomings as soon as possible. Now you can see the finished look. And yesterday the same supervisory Authority issued us a permit, according to which we can introduce 10 kilovolts of electricity into the building. I think that this is very good news. And indeed, there is already a plan to carry out the work. Tentatively, next week we will physically make the connection. I hope that we will be able to do that and that the building will have electricity on a permanent proven circuit. I apologize, I squint from time to time. It is because of the sun. It's very bright. And no matter where you stand, it still hits you right in the eye. Now, let's come back to the works that are being carried out today. Let us take a look and you will make conclusions yourself about what has been done and what has not. Here you can see a warehouse with metal structures, which are used in the installation of ventilation communications. I think that those of you who have watched our previous videos have seen that this warehouse was quite big. And now only a small part of it is left here. This means that all these products have already been lifted to the third floor of the production part, and their installation is underway. In other words, the work in this area, objectively speaking, is being completed. We are now standing on asphalt. We see that the protective layer of asphalt has been removed. I remind you that the protective layer of asphalt in this place was laid literally in the last hours before the onset of frost and a large amount of precipitation in the form of snow. This allowed us to protect the construction site from mud and clay, to save on the installation of wheel washing stations and in general to carry out, let's say, works on landscaping now as well as works on installation and storage of various components that we will need in the future. Now we see that not only the asphalt has been dismantled, has been removed, but now the soil will be leveled, or rather compacted, and then the asphalt layer will be restored. In parallel with this, curbs are being installed in accordance with the markings. The fence is already being installed the fence has been moved to fit its position according to the project. The gates of the entrance group have been installed. All communications for the connection of automated systems have been prepared. And we are still waiting for the reconstruction of the chamber for connecting the water inlet. The last of the two, let's say. That is, cold water is now physically present in the building. It all works. But it is done through the inlet, which is located in the rear part of the building. Here we also have to make reconstruction, make a puncture under the heating main. And this work will also be completed. And that will be the end of complicated and important works in terms of engineering communications. While we are at this part of the building, it should also be noted that landscaping is being done. Trees are being planted, it's red maple, it's beautiful. The same trees are planted throughout the whole territory of the special economic zone. That is, it is all in the same style, so beautiful. 
we can see that charging stations for electrical equipment have been installed. Currently there are four of them. We can also see the cables coming out of the ground to make connections. And in general, the work that has not been done yet, it's not that big. I think that in the near future we'll be able to make another video for you, during which we'll tell you about its fulfillment. Now, let's move to the back part of our site. Let's see what's there. Moving here, we can see, of course, the cooling center. A monumental structure. Its degree of readiness is extremely high. The work is already being completed. Also, if we look at the dry cooling towers, it is not only that the piping has already been done, the communications have been laid underground, now the thermal insulation is already underway, and the thermal insulation is being done in several layers. We can see that there is a special material and protective corrugation to protect the whole structure from precipitation. We can also see that the work continues with the curbstone. Subconcrete is made, the curbstone is leveled. Special layers are installed between the curb stones. So it's all done at quite a high pace. And when we move to the back part, to our ramp, there are, of course, a lot of interesting things here as well, and a lot of materials are stored, and a construction camp is set up. What is the reason for that? It is because we have reinforced the crew and we attracted, we brought in an additional number of employees to carry out the work in order to maximize the time to complete the construction. That is why this area is now being used in this way. You can also see the crane. Transparent panels have just arrived at the site for the construction of a noise vibration screen. Well, it's not a vibration screen, it's rather a noise shield. This is necessary in order to isolate our neighbors from the noise that will be created during the life of the enterprise. And of course, this is one of the requirements of the supervisory authorities. Because, let's say, we all have contact with each other, we're all in touch, in one way or another, we are each other's neighbors, and where the rights and freedom of one ends, the rights and freedom of the other begin. So we need to live in a civilized way, in a friendly manner, for everyone to feel comfortable. Well, let's have a look. The fence that was erected earlier by Technopolis has been dismantled. There is a cable channel left there now. All this will be moved. The supports will be dismantled in the near future. Our own supports will be installed. We can see in the distance the foundation bases. They are already waterproofed. Why are they so fundamental and different from what is installed now? Let's look here. This is a dismantled fence, a mesh. Naturally, when there are strong gusts of wind, it does not flow. The wind passes through. In our case, it's a blind fence, a screen, and it's quite high. And in order to ensure that in any conditions, for example, when there is strong wind, for it to remain in its place and not to move towards the neighbors or in our direction. Well, such measures are taken. So let's just say that we'll have to dig some more, but they are still the final touches. We are now at the third floor of the production part of the building. We see that the ventilation communications, ventilation equipment, are distributed to their rightful places. Electric wiring, low current, lighting are being installed according to the permanent scheme, control panels, automation. There is a lot of work to be done. It is necessary to provide earthing as well. If we go in here and look, the size of the equipment here is quite large. That is, the entire third floor now begins to live in completely different colors. Let's move on. 
And as we have already said, in order to provide, I don't know whether you can see it or not, but pay attention to the monumental nature of the structures. It's all about providing cooling for the building. You know, if we compare it, how easy it is to heat a building and how hard it is to keep it cool. And most importantly, to keep the coolness at the right degree, let's say. We can see that quite a large number of employees are on our way here now. The work is boiling. Please show us what is going on under the seating. There is a lot of work. Probably we won't dwell on this point in detail because there is already a lot of construction, indeed. Let's not stop the guys from doing their work. Even though we're here at lunchtime, a lot of work is still going on. So now we'll show you some footage, what it looks like, and then we'll talk in the next videos about what, why, and what for. And now we have moved into the room. Please show it. The finishing is almost complete. The ceiling is mounted. The room is quite spacious. And this tells us that a whole department will be located here. What kind of department? I think that you will find out a little later. But this room is now being prepared in an intensified format in order to fully transfer another service from the rented premises to the design and engineering bureau premises. And in conclusion, I would like to say that the pace of work is now directly related to the rate of receipt of funds, that is, investments. And you can see that we were able to strengthen, to reinforce everything, to bring in new employees, new specialists who help us to complete the facility in the required time frame. And the day is not far off when the building will breathe fully, when we will be able to fully focus on the commercialization of Sri Lanka's combined winding technologies. And of course, it should be noted that in parallel with the construction works, I would even say the completion of construction works, commercialization works are being carried out. We are working with potential customers. I would not even say that we are looking for customers. Many companies, including quite large ones, turn to us because the technical characteristics that we can provide our motors with and the final product accordingly. Now it is not provided by any competitor, they cannot do it. The motor sizes that we can get, their power characteristics, their energy efficiency. This is really what allows us to be engaged in this project, to work in this area. I hope that in the near future our videos will be more focused not on the results of construction but rather on commercialization. And in order to help us with that, everyone knows what they need to do. Thank you for your attention, see you again and thank you for the trust you place in the entire Soil Mesh team.